All righty, all right, we're ready. Hi, people. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. This looks weird. So, wait a minute. I don't know why. Hi, guys. How are you? Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you guys? I'm fine. Happy, sad, good, bad. So. This thing is desaparezco. <laughs> it's, it's, this is weird. I don't know. No sé por qué. Es, quizás porque cambié la, la. No. It's. it's I don't know, people. Put algo in the cabeza para que funcione esta cosa. So it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I don't really understand why, but it is not working. <laughs> it's it's weird. All right, we're gonna start, people. Thank you so much for being here. It's it's more than a pleasure, you know. It's it's more than a pleasure to be here. Thank you guys for. For being here for your effort and for everything yes yes i really really thank you for that uh, i'm going to take attendance in this moment so people if you hear your name say hi okay let's do this for carlos alberto castro santana all right carlos is not here yet but he will Carlos Vladimir, Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. No, wait. Cecilia Yasmin Mejibar Soto. No, Cecilia is not here either. Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Álvarez. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Thank you, Daisy, for being here. Hi. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Hi, Eduardo. Thank Present. You. Yes, yes. Thank you, Eduardo, for being here. Yeah. Good to see you again. Uh, Emerson, Uli Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, teacher. Hello, Emerson. Thank you, Emerson, for being here. It's good to have you again. Francisco Sanchez Lopez. No, he's not here. Okay. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro? No, Imelda is not here. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales? Present teacher. Hi, Joana. Thank you, Joana, for being here. Good to have you again. Jose Alexander Hernandez Carvajal? No. Okay. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes? No, okay. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Present teacher. Hi, Gerardo. Thank you, Gerardo, for being here. Good to see you. Good to have you again. Carol Elizabeth Escalantes Enriquez. Present. Hi, Carol. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Hi, Luis. Thank you for being here, Luis. Good to see you. Good to have you here again. Uh, Neftali Humberto Ramirez Ramos. No, okay. Oscar no, Oscar Noé Magaña Martinez. Present teacher. Hi, Oscar. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. Sara Abigail López Portillo. Present teacher. Hi, Sara. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you so much for being here. Tatiana Yvonne Torres de Beltrán. Present teacher. Hi, Tatiana. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Jancy Olivares Raimundo. Present teacher. Hi, Jancy. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Hi, Carla. Thank you for being here. Carlos Ernesto Guerra. Carlos is not here. Karen Janet Granados. Present. Hi. 
All right. I think we are ready. Xiomara, hello. No vino, le puse ya, mire. Hi, teacher. Me dijo, me dijo presente, ¿no? No podía entrar. Solo me salía la pantalla negra, pero aquí está. I don't. All right. I don't really understand why the, the background is, is working properly. But well, guys, thank you for being here. We're going to start right now. It's it's a good day. Today is a good day. And yesterday was a good day. And Saturday was a perfect day. Yes. All right. We're going to start. People, there is a lot to do today. We're going to review. We are going to review Friday's topic. Okay. Vamos a repasar un poco el tema del, del, del día viernes. Hello, Bernardo. Thank you for being here. Acá le pongo que ya vino. Le puse que no vino. En todo el mes. No problem, right? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're good. We're good. All right. Thank you for being here, uh, Bernardo. Welcome. Hoy ganamos, Bernardo Silva. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the topic that we studied on Friday. Okay, les mostraré el tema del día viernes. Es el que vamos a uh, review that topic right now. It's quite simple. It's just complex. That's the only problem with it. Okay, guys, do you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, all right, all right. It's just vocabulary practice. So we're going to learn uh, a few words. Okay, some new vocabulary for today. This is class number 19, okay? Tomorrow is the last class. People, mañana te concluimos con el módulo número 5, okay? Uh, supongo que ya todos recibieron el correo de, de, la, de la encuesta. Okay, yes. yes. Usualmente se hace a las ocho y media, okay? Entonces sería mañana a, a las ocho y media, okay? Indicaciones para la encuesta, solamente una compu, Para que sea mucho más sencillo, se puede con el teléfono, sí, pero es un poco más complicado, ¿ok? Así que una compu más para que sea más sencillo para el día de mañana, ¿ok? Yes, let's start. Now, do you remember anything about when and if clauses? People, do you remember anything about when and if clauses? Guys? If, sí, when, cuando. Uh -huh. and, and, and how do we use them? ¿Cómo se usan? How do we use them? It's conditional. Uh -huh. It's, it's, I wouldn't say it is a conditional. It's not a conditional. It's a clause. Es una cláusula. No es, una, no es un condicional. Okay. No? Okay. We're going to review. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. We use, we use, when and if, usamos when and if only to connect. Okay, solo para conectar dos oraciones. Okay, para eso lo hacemos. En presente. Okay. En presente. Yes, exactly. That's what it is. Look at the example. Well, it says here we use if, excuse me, this one, the other one, the anterior, this one. All right, here we go. Okay, as you can see, como pueden ver, as you can see, we use if and when clauses to talk about real things that happen in daily situations. Usamos when y también if para expresar cosas que pasan durante todos los días. Okay, durante el día y durante la semana. Eso es mejor. All right, the structure is the following. Acá, acá como está esa estructura. Recuerden, ese when y ese if unen dos oraciones. Ok, pueda que tengan sentido las oraciones y pueda que, que no tengan mucho sentido. Ok, pero el when y el if las pueden conectar. Ok, observen esto. Dice, dice acá, I ask for help. Yo pido ayuda. Ok, y tenemos acá, I have questions. Sin el when o el if, borramos el when y el if para mientras. Ahí está. Dice, yo pido ayuda. Aquí, aquí dice, yo tengo preguntas. Como que las ideas no están muy, 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 ¿cómo les digo? No, no combinan. They don't match. They are different. The ideas are different. Okay. 
but but when and if when e if but when e if pueden unir esas dos oraciones incluso cuando tengan cuando sean muy diferentes ok porque son muy diferentes pero con el when y el if le damos sentido a ambas oraciones yes entonces dice yo pido ayuda cuando tengo preguntas o yo pido ayuda si tengo preguntas ok that's how it goes if you see if you notice the verb is in the present and the next verb is also in the present ok yes that's what it is and if here como dije el día viernes ok as i said as i said on friday we can use when or if at the beginning beginning of the sentence or in the middle of the sentence ok usamos se puede usar when y el if al principio de la oración ok la diferencia es que incluimos una coma bueno We're gonna see that in this moment. Veremos en este momento. We're gonna see that right now. Let me, let me just, here. Over here we have examples, examples of this. Look at it, veamos. When the family gets together, my mother is happy. People, hello. Acá está when al principio de la oración. Igual acá está if al principio, y aquí también está if al principio, y aquí está en medio. ¿Ok? Cuando está al principio, separamos ambas oraciones con una coma, como la pueden ver acá. As you can see, the coma is there. Si está en medio, when o, uh, when, o if, no cambia. Me refiero a que no agregamos coma. ¿Ok? Look, when the family gets together, coma, my mother is happy. ¿Ok? Cuando la, familia, cuando la familia se junta, mi mamá es feliz. ¿Ok? O puede ser al revés. It can be the other way around. It can be my mother is happy when my family gets together. ¿Ok? Yes. If you catch a call, you can request a day off. If you catch a call, you can request a day off. ¿Ok? Si te, si te refrías, acá, si te refrías, Puedes solicitar un día libre o el día libre. Right? That's what it says. If she needs the envelope, she should come to the office. If she needs the envelope, she should come to the office. ¿Ok? Si ella requiere el sobre o necesita el sobre, debe venir a la oficina. And the last one, la última. I buy a smoothie when I'm not hungry. I buy a smoothie when I'm not hungry. Dice, yo compro un licuado cuando no tengo hambre. ¿Ok? Es mucho más fácil un licuado de comida. <laughs> right? So that's what it is. What is happening? There you go. Ok. People, do you have any questions about this? Question, yes, teacher. Okay. What is the meaning envelope? Oh, so el sobre, un sobre. Ah, okay. Yes, yes. Sorry, I didn't tell you before. More questions, people? Do you have more questions? No, teacher. Okay, teacher. No, okay. Very good. Well, we're going to practice, vamos a practicar, ustedes van a, van a proveer ejemplos, pero lo haremos con verbos específicos que son los que están acá. Ok, can you provide your own examples? Puedes darme tus ejemplos. Using these verbs. Vamos a ver. Forward. Guys, what is forward? Guys, do you know what forward is? Adelantar. Mm, no. Not in this case. That in this case, reenviar, ok, reenviar, con respecto a correos electrónicos, ok, you forward an email, ok, reenviar, that's what it is, ok, uh, we got hesitate, what is hesitate? No, hesitate, titubear, dudar, ok, 
titubear significa dudar. ¿Ok? Como está entre sí y el no. <ríe> ¿Ok? Indeciso. That's what it is. Hesitate. ¿Ok? Argue. Guys, what is argue? This one is common. This is más común. Argue. Argumentar. Yes. Argumentar, discutir. ¿Ok? Yes. What is withdraw? ¿Qué es withdraw? ¿Saben qué es withdraw? No. Retirar. Retirar. Yes, yes. Forward. Are you... Withdraw is for money, okay? In this case, money. Yeah, you, you go to the bank and you withdraw your money. You go to the ATM, you withdraw the money, right? What is withhold? Guys, what is withhold? Retener. Or mantener. Sorry? Retener or mantener? Yes, retener, right? That's withhold. Withhold, in this case, it's about money. It's about money, okay? Yes, it's about money. So every company, every company withdraw, uh, sorry, withholds money, okay? Every company withdraw, uh, withdraws. I keep saying withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. No, no, no. Every company withholds money, okay? Todas las compañías retienen dinero, okay? For, for uh, AFP, renta, right? Uh, seguro social, etc. okay? A eso se refiere, retener. All right, very good. So now, I need you guys to use these verbs to give me examples. Please use these verbs, use these verbs to give me examples. Guys, hello. Teacher. <clears throat> yes, excuse me. In forward in May, I always revise the content. One more time. Repeat, please. If forward email. But I, I, don't, I don't understand the first part. You say it is forward. Yes. What do you, what, do you, what is that in Spanish? <laughs> no, no, but it is forward. Si envío un correo, reviso una vez más, quiero decir. If. If I forward, if, if I, I, if I, sorry, if I forward email, I always no, revise. No. If I forward an email, un okay. correo, an email, yes. Okay. No, repeat it, please. <laughs> sorry. I don't understand. <laughs> No estuve en la clase, teacher. No, no, but it's correct. It's Estoy perdida. Este va bien. Este va bien. So if I forward. I. ¿Mm? Si reenvío un correo, dice ahí. Ajá. Uh -huh. I always re, I always revise. O sea, yo siempre reviso Check. el contenido. Uh, if. I always. I'm going to let be four. Okay. Look. Check if I forward, in the chat. If I forward a mail, an email, I always check the content before. Siempre reviso el, el, el contenido antes. Okay. Yes. Okay, teacher. That's how it should go. Okay. Anybody else? Alguien más? Okay, Eduardo. When I need money, uh, I withdraw cash the ATM. Wow, easy, right? <laughs> when I need when I need money, I withdraw it from the from the ATM. Easy. Okay. In my case, it's not it's not that simple. It's difficult. If I need money, I have to rob a bank. All right, 
Anybody else? One question. ¿Qué dijo que significaba hesitate? Hesitate, dudar. Dudar. Yes. Eh, un ejemplo, if I hesitate myself, I will never make it. No, no, no. Myself, no. If I hesitate. Of me? No, no. If I hesitate. Oh. No, no. Entonces sería, sería, sería dudar. If you hesitate, not stop it. Repeat, Carol, I'm sorry. If you hesitate, not stop. If you hesitate. Not stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gerardo, en el chat le coloqué la palabra dudar. Doubt. The bow. Mm -hmm. If I doubt oh, myself, doubt. doubt. If I doubt myself, doubt. Yes. if I doubt myself, uh -huh. I will never make it. Exactly. That's that's better, better, better. Yes. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Gerardo. Anybody else? People. Carla. Hello, Ernesto. Hello, teacher. Oh yes. Um, if I withhold. And email, it is because I, mo I must know how to answer the people involved. Involved. In involved. Okay. Let's continue. Ibella, Bernardo, Tatiana, Daisy, hello, brother. Um, if I argue with my boss, I, I will be fired. <laughs> I am fired. I am fired. Okay. But I would be fired is okay, but that's the first conditional. So it's kind of different. Okay. Anybody else? Karen, hello. Carlos Alberto, hello. I'd like to argue if my bestie not give me to reason. Repeat, please. I'd like to argue if my bestie not give me the reason. The last part, I don't understand it. Um, if, I can say, me gusta discutir si mi mejor amiga no me da la razón. Okay, repeat it now, again. I like to argue. I like, my I like to argue. I like to argue if my bestie not give me the reason. I... Like to argue best doesn't okay, let me hold. my bestie doesn't give me the reason. Okay, that's how that's better, better, better. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can find the, the information in the chat, Karen, the, the example that you were telling me. Solo era doesn't. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Okay, thank you. You can hesitate, hesitate if you want to conquer the top. Repeat, please. You can hesitate if you want to conquer the top. Okay, okay. You can hesitate if you want to conquer the top. All right, all right, that's fine. You can hesitate if you can, if you want to reach the top. All right. We are going to continue practicing with these verbs later on, okay? They are good verbs. Not very common though. Así, pero son, son técnicos. Okay, let's continue here. We're gonna open our books on page number 43. If you haven't opened your book yet, go to page number uh, 43. All right, let me just share with this with you.
Okay. People, do you see the book? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, here we go. Look at this. We continue talking about unit number four, which is company procedures and policies. Today, people today, I will be able to give and receive instructions on company procedures. I will be able to give and receive instructions on company procedures. Question number one, where do you usually request a permission form? People, what is the process Let's change the questions. Let's combine. Combinemos las y queremos una una diferente. What is your Okay, go to the chat and you're going to see the question there. Okay, it's almost the same question. It says, what is the process of requesting a permission form at your workplace? Form es un formulario. Dice, ¿cuál es el proceso para solicitar un formulario de permiso en el trabajo? Dice acá. Okay, repito. Dice, ¿cuál es el proceso para solicitar Una, un formulario de permiso en tu compañía. Okay, that's the question. So people, tell me, what is the process of requesting a permission form in your company? How do you do it? Uh, me teacher. Okay. In my case, I ask, I ask, ask the form to the supervisor's assistant. I have to add the Compro, comprobante? What? How, how do you say comprobante? Evidence. I have to add the evidence in case it is pro, for a, a visit, to, visit to the doctor. And I have to give the form to my supervisor to sign. All right. And then you're, you're, he signs it and that's it. Uh, I give it back to the supervisor's uh, assistant, and that's it. Well, that sounds like a very easy procedure. <laughs> yes, or process. Sounds very easy. Okay, in my case, is the process is different. Okay, the process is different. I just have to, I have to present or I have to give them my sick leave or the document from the, from the clinic. <laughs> In the chat, okay. Go to the chat, you will find the information there. So I was telling you that that in my company or where I work at, we, we just do that, okay. People, anybody else? Are you must? People, hello. Anybody else? If uh, me teacher. Okay, tell me. If I request uh, one day free, uh, I need the uh, uh, talk with my with my boss, and he he is the last the last person for he signed uh, my permission. All right, I understand. I understand now. Okay, okay. Thank you for that. Anybody else? Let me see. Luis, what is the process? Luis, can you hear me? Yes, Jeff. Hello, hello. What is, Luis, what is the process of requesting uh, a permission letter at your company? Or a permission form in this case? The employees should call to manager and give give the permission. Okay, 
All right, all right. So a person just goes to the manager and asks for, for, for the permission form. All right, thank you, Javier, for that. Anybody else? People? Okay, let's continue. People, there's a small conversation down here. Hay una pequeña conversación acá abajo. Look at it. It's about Mr. Ray and Ashley, right? People, listen to, the, to your teacher read the conversation. Then practice with a partner. It says, good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first, okay? And the conversation just goes or flows. People, uh, let me see questions about the vocabulary here. Guys, do you have any questions about, about the vocabulary? No. Este, la okay. parte del procedimiento, sí, me cuesta un poquito cómo se pronuncia. La proced procedures. Proceed, proceed, procedures. Procedures. No, procedures, procedures, procedures. Ah, uh, procedures. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay, anybody else? Alguien más? The, the word jet, no jet, sir. Is it, sir. No, no, aún jet. no. Oh, sir, sir. Sir. Jet, jet. Oh, jet. ¿Qué significa todavía? Yes. Aún. No, no dice que no, aún no. Ok, yes. That's what it is. Okay. Guys, more questions? No, we're good. Ok, very good. That's fine, that's fine. Down here, it says, well, we're going to practice for a, few, for a few minutes. But down here is part number three. It says get in pairs and discuss the following questions. We've got two questions. Before we go to the questions, we're gonna be practicing here. Let me see. I'm going to choose two people and then we practice, okay? Two people and then we practice. Daisy, are you there? Daisy, hello? No, okay, Daisy's not there. Alberto Castro? Ernesto Guerra? Yes, teacher. Okay, wait. Ah. And Oscar, Oscar Noé, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay. Carlos Ernesto and Oscar, read, please. Okay. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hart. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about who to procure a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to, to you first. Okay, please switch roles. Switch roles, please. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of your company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, what do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain ten to you first. Okay, thank you, thank you, Oscar and Carlos for your participation. I really appreciate that. All right, Gerardo, are you there with Karen? Jose Gerardo and Karen? Yes, teacher. Okay, go, please. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures? Uh, the pro procedures. Procedures, procedures. Procedures and roles of 
or company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about how to request a uh, permissions? Permission. Sounds good. Permissions. Sounds good. I will explain then to I will explain then to you first. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you please switch? Wait, wait, wait. Who's a window? Who's a window? Uh, no, it's Sion. It's Sean. Permission. Okay. Oh, permission. S, S H O N. Sean. Permission. Okay. Yes. All right. That's fine. Continue and switch roles, please. Karen and Gerardo. Okay. Teacher, is request or request? Request. Request. Okay. Request. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? Procedures? No, not, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you do want to start? What about how do to request and permissions? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. All right, all right. Thank you, Karen and Gerardo for your participation. Really appreciate it. Okay, now we're going to continue and we're gonna have Emerson practice with Karen. Hello. Okay, teacher. Yes, please. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hunt. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not to get here. Okay, where do you want to start? Want a ball hole to request a permission. Sound good. I will explain that to you. Fierce. Sounds, sounds, with sounds with S, okay. Switch roles, please. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and uh, welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures and rulers of our company? Not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? But what about how do you request a permission? So, well, I will explain them to you first. 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 Ah, exactly, first. All right. Thank you, Emerson and Carol, for your participation. Let me continue with uh, uh, Francisco. Daisy. Hi. Hi. Okay. Daisy with uh, with Carla. Hello. <clears throat> Hi. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know? the procedures and rule of our company. No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? One hour have to request a uh, permission. Request. Uh, request. Sound good. I will explain them to you first. All right, switch roles, please. Yes. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to the to our company. Thanks, you, Mr. Hans. Do you know the press process? Do you know the process and rulers of our company? 
No, not yet, sure. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? So good. I will explain them to you first. All right, all right, all right. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you. Let me continue with uh, Tatiana. Hello. Hello, teacher. Sara, are you available? Oh, I'm taking that as a no. Eduardo, with Tatiana, please. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Ham. Do you know the procedures and rulers of our company? Rules. No. no, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. First, which rules? Rules. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures and rules of yes. our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request of permission? Request. Request of permission. Sound good. I will explain them to you first. All right, thank you. Thank you both of you for that. Let me continue with Xiomara and Bernardo. Okay, teacher. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, no, just sure. Sir. Sir. Okay. Sir. Okay, where do you want to start? Uh, what about how to request uh, permission sounds good i will explain them to you first all right switch roles please good afternoon ashley and welcome to our company thank you mr hank do you know the procedures and rule and roles or Company, hot world company. No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sound, sounds good. I will explain them to you first. All right, I will explain them to you. Thank you, thank you. Javier and Joanna, you are the last ones, please. Okay. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Ashley. And what? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dele. Siga, siga usted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to your company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? Yes. No, not yet, sir. Our company. Hello. Uh -huh. No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain then 
to you first. 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 Sounds. 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 Suena como. Suena bien en este caso. Okay. Sounds. People, do you have any questions? Sounds. Yes, sounds. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. No? Okay. Let's continue with part number three. It says, who is Ashley? People, who is Ashley? A woman. She's a new employee. A new right. employee. Okay, okay. Perfect answer, yes. She's the new employee or she's a new employee. Okay. We can say... She's a new employee. Second question. Who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? Guys, who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? The human resource. Human resources? Mm, yes. Mr. Hank. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, human resources, right? The HR department or the human resources department. That's what they are in charge of. But we're gonna go up there. Vamos a regresar arriba para ver cómo es la respuesta. Okay. We don't see the company here. Okay. No se ve, no se ve el, el, quién, quién es la persona de que, que, que está a cargo. Okay. But it's probably Mr. Ray. Okay. That's probably what it is. Okay. No sé por qué dice Hank. Acá después dice Ray. <laughs> I don't understand that part. Okay. But we can say that it is Mr. Ray or human resources. Okay. Yes. Here, let's continue with this part. Read the procedure to request a permit to request permission at the DAC company. Okay. Request read the following. Uh, read the procedure to request permission at the DAC company. Okay. This is lee proceso para solicitar permiso en la compañía DSA. Okay. Tenemos, we, are, we got nine, nine procedures, nine steps. Okay. Nueve pasos. Procedure to request permission. Okay. Let's do this. First, print the request form that is available on the internet. Intranet. What is it? Internet. Number two, fill out the form. Three, write the reason for the permission. Four, write the email and day you will be absent. Three, sorry, five, specify if it is due to medical or personal reasons. Six, ask for the de department manager's signature. Seven, Present the form at the human resources office. Eight, the human resources assistant will receive the form and sign it if it is accepted. Nine, the last one. Excuse me. If the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is denied. Okay. Guys, do you have any questions about these steps? No teacher. No teacher. Uh, no, number two, fill out the form. Fill out the fill form. Out. Fill out, completar. Completar el formulario. Yes. Fill out a form. Guys, what else? No more questions? Okay. How much is uh, a volunteer to read, please? To practice the reading. Me, teacher. 
Yes. All the the steps. Yes. Okay. Uh, procedure to request permission. First, print the print the request from the from that is available on the intra, intranet. Internet. Internet. Yes. Internet. Uh, two, fill out the form. Three, write the reason for the permission. Four. Write the time and day you will be absent. Absent. Five. Absent. Specify if it is due to medical or due to due to. Do. Oh, if it is due to medical or personal reasons. Six. Ask for the department manager's signature. Seven. Present the form at the human rest. Resources of resources. Resources office. Eight. The human resources assistant will receive the form and sign it if sign it, it is sign it. Sign it if it is accept. Nine, okay, if it is accepted. 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 Uh, nine. If the human resources assistant does not Accept the form. Accept. The permission is, is denied. 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 Yes. Negada. Denied. Right. That's what it is. People, hay una palabra que se parece mucho a esa aceptar. No sé si la, la han visto. La palabra es ex, excepto. En inglés. Esa se parece un montón. Se la coloco acá en el chat. Somebody say hi. All right, look. We got accept. Accept. Y accept. Suenan casi, casi igual. Porque incluso uh, los estadounidenses lo confunden también. ¿no? Se confunden y no escuchan qué, 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 qué palabra es. Es accept o accept. Okay. Suena un poquito igual. Bueno, casi igual. Right. So, but there is a little, uh, a little difference in the beginning, you know. A, a, accept. Y accept. Ok, A and E. But the difference is very, 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 uh, how can I say, it? insignificant. So it's, it, it tends to be very, very confusing. It's very confusing. Okay. Guys, do you have any questions about the vocabulary again or the pronunciation of some words? Please tell it's me. The pronunciation, the in, intranet. Internet, intranet. Internet. Yes, internet. Internet. This is ab absent. 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 Tenemos acá también este uh, uh, re resources. Resources. This is present, not present. Present. Este do to significa debido a. Okay. Specify if it is due to medical or personal reasons. Siempre irán juntas esas dos palabras. Do to. Yes. Do to. Yes and no. <laughs> ok. Tú lo colocas do significa... ¿Cómo es en español esta cosa? What it, uh, I don't know. When is the baby due? Si lo ven ahí en el chat. When is the baby do? El do es como la fecha, la fecha límite también. Yes. Ok. Like when, when is the baby do? Es cuando van a ser el bebé. <laughs> Se puede separar y poner las dos palabras y solamente, o solo una. Yes. Otra pregunta, sí. teacher. La número ocho. ¿Cómo se pronuncia un poco más fluido esas últimas palabras después de sin? Está it, if, it, is. Yes, yes. Es una. Es una lengua, ¿eh? <risa> y, y, que se diga y, 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 y ya. <risa> no, no, no. Bueno, iniciamos acá. Conste que usted lo ha dicho. <laughs> no, 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 relax. Ok. You can sign it. Primero unimos la N como el NIT. Ok, sign it. Sign it. If, ese if va separado. Y acaba unido como el nombre de Iris. Iris accepted. Ok. Entonces so sería así. The human resources assistant will receive the form and sign it if it is. ¿sí? Sign it if it is. Right? 
Sainé. Porque si lo separa va a ser un poco más, más, más uh, pausado. Sería así. The human resources assistant will receive the form and sign it if it is accepted. Un poco más de, de pausa. Okay. Entonces, unimos la N con el if, sign it, y luego separamos el if, y luego usamos el it is. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you. La última palabra de la línea 9. Denied. Denied. En pasado. Presente es deny. Es en el chat. Negar. Deny es negar. Ok. Deny. All right. Uh, well, Carlos was reading, right? Vamos a ver. Uh, Xiomara es going to read. Xiomara, lea y luego seguimos. Please, read, read. From one to seven. From, sorry, from one to nine. It was seven. Xiomara, hello. Hola. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, Pastor, please. You don't leer. Siete, dijo, ver. La una, la nueve. Excuse me, people. Uh, uh, first, print the request from form that is available, available. Or available uh, on the internet. Internet. Intranet. 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 Mm -hmm. Fill, fill all the forms. Write the reason for the permission. Write the time and day you will be absent. A specific specify. Is, specify X it is due to medical or person. Personal reason. Ask for department manager signature. 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 Present the four at the human resource office. The, the human resource assistant will resources. say resources will the four. And in sign it, sign it. it is sign it. I said, sign it, it, it is uh, accepted. 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 Permit me to put the letter to the Is the human resource assistant does not accept the, the form, the permission is denied. Denied. Right. Yes, como dije, resources con la S. Resources. Yes. Recuerden la S. Nunca, de, nunca dejen la S, ok. Sí, reasons. El sonido de S. Right. Proceed, uh, resources. Ok. Yes. Etc. Now, very good. Thank you guys for your participation. Now, we are going to continue down here with this. It says, we got four uh, charts here, no cuatro cuadritos. It says, make a list of situations in which you could request permission. Share and compare them with, a, with three classmates. Dice acá, haz una lista, o haga una lista de situaciones en las cuales podrías solicitar permiso. Okay, one, two, three, four. Solo cuatro, four. Four. Okay, yes. Te van a decir sick. Bueno, ya que está porque están enfermos. That's, that's too common. Eso es muy, muy común. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm going to give you five minutes. Five, five minutes, five, four.
People, if you finish, please let me know. And uh, what else? Let me see. What, what, what. Contagious. Okay, those are my my four my four uh, opinions. Okay, who finished? Okay, we're gonna see, look at mine. Observe lo que tengo yo acá. One, two, three, and four. Four of them. A son's or daughter's graduation. Okay. La graduación de una hija o de un hijo. Okay. It's a good, it's a good reason to, to ask or to request permission. Yeah. Wife's gone on labor. Okay. That's, this is a good reason. Okay. To request permission. So I guess labor or labor. No. No. Okay. Labor is labor. Okay. Trabajo. <laughs> but but in this case, in this case, on labor significa parto. Parto. Okay. Trabajo de parto o, o ¿cómo podemos decir lo que, que está <laughs> a parir? <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Pretty much. Okay. Yes, that's what it is. Uh, an accident, of course, and a contagious disease. ¿Saben qué es disease? Enfermedad. Okay, contagiosa. A contagious disease. All right. Hay una palabra muy similar a esa disease. La pondré en el chat para que la vean. ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say? How do you call these people? Esos que, que fallecen en la en la guerra, si le dicen de, de, como dado de baja, pero con una palabra. I can't remember. I don't remember the word in Spanish. Denegar. Which one? Denegar. Mm, es cuando fallecen, cuando mueren. Retirados, veteranos. No, mueren. They die. 
I don't know how to, how to call that in Spanish. In Spanish, I don't know. No, Fallecido. Fallecido, no. Wait, I'm going to look this up because tiene que haber una, una, how do you call it? In Spanish is Cuando, cuando mueren así militares o <coughs> policías les dicen que caen, están en una baja. Yeah, ajá, se han dado de baja, prácticamente se dan de baja, eso es lo que significa, no sé cómo es en español. Ok, in the chat. They are similar, ok, disease and disease. <laughs> ok. Now, let's continue here. So I wanna, I wanna, I wanna hear some people. Okay, a volunteer. Eh, yo tengo una aquí que Marriott permiso. Sorry. No oh, permiso. Marriott permiso. Mm -hmm. Marriott. Ah, con Mary. permiso. Mary, perdón. Ajá. De matrimonio. Marriott. No sé cómo se dice. Marriott o Marriott. Me es a marriage. Pero ¿cómo sería ese marriage? No sé, pero bueno, yo, ahí las políticas hay que si alguien se casa le dan como tres días. No, okay, no, no, no. Entonces sería diferente. Sería wedding. 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 Ah. Okay, marriage. Marriage es matrimonio, pero ya, ya casado. Ya, ya en matrimonio. Ah, ok. okay. Sería wedding. Ahí se para la boda. One, one example. When your family is dead. When your family is dead. Okay. When your family passes away or a member of your family passes away. What else? Okay. Lean las de las cuatro, lean las cuatro que tengan. Um, a dentist appointment. Okay. A dentist appointment. What else? Uh, Problems with my motorcycle. Okay, problems with the vehicle. Vehicle, okay. Vehicle. Uh -huh. Car, motorcycle, taxi, okay. bus. I don't know. Uh, permission for classes. Okay, permission for classes. And a special family meeting. Okay, especially family reunions. Reunion. Okay, because meeting is trabajo. Okay. okay. A special okay. family reunions. Reunions, exactly, exactly. Okay, Eduardo, can you please mention your, your examples? You mentioned only one. Can you mention the other ones? No, lo que pasa es que los otros los tenías como personal permission. Eh, ese de que usted lo puso aquí por, por parto, mm -hmm. yo lo había puesto de otra manera. Ah, okay, okay. I understand, I understand. Okay, no problem, no problem. <laughs> What about you, Gerardo? Did you finish it? Gerardo? Only two examples. One, how many? Two. Only two. <laughs> okay. Can you share the other one? Yes. Uh, the, when you, the first is when your family is dead. And the second is the, when, you, when you are sick. Okay. When you are sick. But the first one, in la pregunta numero uno, is when your family is dead. Cuando la familia se muere toda. You said family, right? My family is dead. Pero sería solamente, ¿cómo sería cuando una persona de tu familia muere? Ahí se chat. A relatives, death. Ah, a relatives. También le puse un, un phrase over que es pass away, que significa fallecer. Pass es pasar. Y away es lejos, pasar lejos, fallecer. Pasar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Gerardo, for your, your participation. Mr. Montes. Hey. Okay. Uh, medical appointment. Medical appointment, yes. For family emergency, emergency, emergencies, emergencies, travel or job accident, 
for take care of my children. To, to take care. To take care. Okay. All right. All right. Four, four reasons that are good. Okay. Four good reasons. Uh, Tatiana, can you share your, your reasons to request permission? Okay, Carol is not there. Let me see. Let me try with Noé. Magaña. Teacher. Okay. Share what you have, please. Okay. Uh, we made problems. Mm -hmm. uh, Family emergency. Uh, emergencies. Emergencies, yes. Emergencies, yes. Family emergencies. And the burial service. Sorry? The, bu the burial service. The burial, burial service. Yes. Well, el un entierro? Yes, yes. It's okay. Correct. All right, all right. Sounds good, sounds good. Decent, decent ones. Yes, Joanna, share what you have, please. Thank you. Okay. I uh, when I have an important exam. Okay, when I have an important exam. Okay. When, when my car doesn't start. Okay, when my car doesn't start. All right. When I have legal problems. When I have Legals or problemas legales. Legal, legal, legal problems. Legal, legal problem. Legal. Y legal problems. Y when a family member did. Dies. Only to check. Okay, all right, all right. Thank you for, for sharing. All right, Joanna. Uh, really appreciate it. Got it? Did you finish? Yes. Okay, please share with everybody. Thanks. Problems with locks. With? Uh, problems with locks. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And hospital appointments. And children graduation and for some operation. The last one, please. For some operations, for alguna operación? Mm, operation, no, it sounds kind of weird. Um, surgery. Okay. Surgery, I said, operation or surgery. Okay, good reasons, good reasons. Operation. Operation. Lo mismo. Lo mismo. <laughs> it sounds kind of weird for me. Thank you. Thank you, Karen, for your examples. Excellent. Uh, Daisy? Hello. No. Daisy is sleeping. Mm. Carla, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Carla, thank you. Um, ask per ask permission to go to the chosen of my children. The what? Sorry. Uh, permiso para este, ¿cómo se dice? Show showing se dice clausuras. The, the end of the year. Closure. Closure. On my shield, or on a, or a son, or children. Mm -hmm. And permission to the, to the class and different, different students. And permission to go to the pay, paperwork at a bank. Uh, permission to go to go get a driver license. 
Okay. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. Thanks. Uh, Ulysses, what about you? When if I need a request a legal document, when I have a party for Thursday's song, when I going to receive the records songs, when needed par paternally live. All right, all right, all right. Very good. Ulisa, thank you very much for that. Uh, Shiomara, hello. Hello. Uh, the death of a family member emergency familiar family a motive person is reason of illness i'm sorry lo último no la no se la escuchan está there is there is interference interference reason mm -hmm. of illness Okay. Reason of illness. Emergency the family. Emergency. Family emergency. Family emergency. Exactly. The motive, motive the person. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. People, do you have, uh, oh, Luis, are you there? Oh, Sara is not share. Sara, can you share, please? Sara, are you there? No? Okay, Luis, what about you, Luis? Can you share, please? No one. Hi. Meeting in Sons School. My son's graduation, personal baking procedures, dental appointment. And what, sorry? Dental appointment, you said, right? D dental appointment. All right, all right, very good, very good. Okay, guys, we're going to continue, okay? And we're going to do something, something similar. Thank you, everybody. For you, participate. Excuse me, I'm having some problems here. <clears throat> okay, as I was saying, as I was saying, we're going to continue with this activity or an activity that is similar to this. Okay, porque esto que está acá muy sencillo, demasiado sencillo. Okay, it says here, your turn. A colleague needs permission to be absent from work. Explain to him the procedures in your company and help him or her fill in the form. So yeah, fill out the form, not fill in, fill out. Okay, name, date, reasons, uh, manager signature and the HR's assistant's signature. Yes? All right. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that, this, this chart, okay? Vamos esto que está acá. That one. Okay, people, let's do it. Individual, okay, individually, let's do it. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to do that.
People, did you finish or almost? Guys, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, if, teacher. If, you, if you can, if it is possible for you, you can share, okay? So, a volunteer, please. A volunteer, hello. Okay, no, then. Let me choose. Me, teacher. Okay, Carla, go ahead. Thank you, Carla. Their college, the process to request, request permission is a follow. One, you, you must tell your immediate boss the reason for which you need permission. Two, once your immediate boss is informal and decides to give you permission, you must go to go to human resource and fill out the permission request. request. Three, once the applica application is filed, filed out, filed, filed, filed out, it mm -hmm. must be signed, signed, 
Sign. Be, sign. Sign. Be your immediate boss, and he is the one who decides is if it is left left with pay or without pay. And the signature for it is take, taken to human resource again and they sing it, receive, receive, and receive it, it is received and it is filed in their file. Okay, and it is filed in their file. <clears throat> okay, thank you, thank you, Carla, for sharing your activity or your part. Let's continue with Tom. Carla, you choose a person. Elija uno, Carla. No, oh, okay. I'll, I'll choose and, a person. Um, yes. Carlos Ernesto Guerra Guerra. Okay, thanks. Carlos? Okay. Um, in my company, if you want a permission, you have to talk with the supervisor. Then he prints the form and you need to fill out and express the reason for the permission. He signs the form and he gives to the human resources. And then they call you back if the permission was accepted or not. Only that? Yes. Okay. All right, all right. Very good. Uh, choose another person, please. Um, Bernardo. Okay, Bernardo. Okay, teacher. In my case, first you have to uh, ask for the form. You need to present a a proof if you have a medical appointment and if not you have to justify it with another way fill out the form and you have to give it to the supervisor to sign it after that you must take the form to the uh, supervisor's uh, system and just that. Okay, just that, right? Just that. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, thank you. Bernardo, choose another person, please. Tatiana. Okay, Tatiana, hello. I think she's not available, but we're going to see. I'm not really sure. Another person, please. Okay, Joanna. Okay. In my case, is different because um, first right to WhatsApp to my boss, <laughs> and and second. Uh, I wait for my boss approval. Uh, approval. Then approval, approval. Appro approval. Then notify the uh, administrative manager and there uh, send the email and copy my boss, manager, and, and, and human resource. All right, and human resources. No. Como digo que no hago el proceso formal. I don't do the process formally. Ah, uh, yes. It's I don't. Me. I don't do. I don't do. The process formally. I don't do the process formally. Okay. Oh, All right. Question. Can you please use another person? Yes, thanks. Emerson. Hello, hello. You need to apply a permission form in the office human resources and fill out with the, with your name the day of the permission, then explain the reason. Finally, request the signal of your boss. Okay. 
All right. Thank you for that. Choose another person, please. Um, Karen Granados. Okay, Karen, hello. Okay, oh, no, another person, please. Eduardo Franco. Okay, Eduardo, please share what you have. Thanks. Lo siento, teacher, es que estaba un poquito ahí este, ocupado, no pude terminar eso. No lo hice. Muy bien. Don't worry, we're going okay. to give you some time. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Another person, Emerson. Okay, let's see. Caro? All right. Caro, are you there? Que la lluvia está bien fuerte y se corta. Por eso no contesté antes. Se escucha cortado todo. So, oh, no. Escúchale. Todo oh, cortado. <laughs> All right, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, Luis. Yes, teacher. First, call up, send the email or send the text mm -hmm. to your supervisor. Supervisor. And explain your case. Supervisor. And explain your case. You should say the date in the absence hours. So waiting for the answer. Only that. In okay. My case. okay. 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 All right. Easy. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gerardo, are you available? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, in my company, I need to talk with my boss and explain the case at him. And then I request the date for WhatsApp or for, or for call. Or phone call. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Thank you for sharing. Gerardo, let me choose another person. Sara, can you share? For date. I am sick and not participating. Okay. I'm sorry. Your voice, sorry. You, you, you sound weak. Daisy, are you there? Okay, Daisy is not there, right? Okay, we're going to continue people. Uh, I think we have finished with, with everybody. All right, let's go. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a document. In this document, you could, you're going to see some uh, exercises, okay? that we need to complete. Hold on. But let me see if I can make all this go away. I don't need this. I'm making it all go away. Okay, look, I'm gonna share this with you because this is just an example, okay? An example of what we are going to be doing. To, to, to see if you guys can master this topic. Look at it. When and if clause, matching. Ese es un, un ejercicio de emparejar. Okay, emparejar las oraciones que están acá. Look, people, we got one, two, three, four, well, just five examples. We got five sentences with when and if, and what, and five sentences with, 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 uh, with nothing, okay, sin nada. Ahora, hay que combinar las people. Vamos, let's do this together. Vamos juntos. Dice, when I'm, a, when I'm out of town, when I'm out of town, pongo el color rojito. People, what is the answer or what is the complement here? When I'm out of town, many, many people are happy. Sería aquí. Are happy. Sorry. People said we'll be happy. Are happy. Guys. When I'm out of town, many people are happy. 
I make money, my family goes everywhere, I might hurt them, or he gets a disease due to the dirt. People, hello. Many people are happy. <laughs> no. But, my, family my family goes every, goes everywhere. everywhere. Exactly, exactly. My family goes everywhere. Okay, familia sale a todos lados. Por ejemplo, no para la ciudad. <laughs> Aunque suena poco, sería poco duro, ¿verdad? <laughs> Many people are happy. Cuando salgo del país o de la ciudad, muchos están felices o se alegran. Que salga de la ciudad, que desaparezca. Right? But it, it is okay. Second, the second one. Vamos a ponerla mejor en color rojo a las dos para que sea, sea igual, que sea mucho más notable. Okay, people, the second one, it says, if I, if I make a new web page, if I make a new web page, I make money. Okay, I make money. Yes, that one is, that one was, was easier. Some of them was as yes. Okay, if I make a new web page, I, I make more money, right? I make more money. Exactly, exactly, exactly. There you go. Here. Okay, now let's continue with this one. If the children play with the with sharp objects, sharp afilados, con filo. Okay. It might hurt them. It might hurt them. It might hurt them. Yes. Tiene que sharp, sharp como verbo es afilar. Okay. También significa inteligente. It might hurt them. All right. Yes. If Argentina win the World Cup, yes, of course. Many people are happy. Many people are happy. Me, for example. Okay, this is will. But let's leave it like this. Seria will in the castle will be happy. Okay, it's it is future, it's futuro. Que aún no ha pasado. Okay. So it will be like this one, right? Y la última, the last one. If he doesn't clean up, people, if he doesn't clean up, he will die. This same Due to, yeah, to the dirt. Due to the dirt. dirt. That's what it is. Dirt. pronuncia la palabra después del A? Disease. Disease. Yes. Disease. Okay. This is dirt. Dirt. Suciedad. Dirt. Okay. So, we're going to do something similar. All right. We're going to do something similar. Before, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, this is what we're going to do. You are going to write one sentence, una oración, cualquier cosa, que sea el presente, okay? Yes, people? All right, okay, I'm going to give you one minute. Solo una oración en presente. Okay, only one, only one. Whatever you want, lo que sea, okay? Yes. Y luego se rebuscan.
Ayúdame. ¿Listos? ¿Todos? ¿Yes? Ok. Listo. Observen esto. Let me see. Joana, give me your example, please. Um, if I go to travel, yes, yes. I need to, no, I need my passport. Passport. Okay, hold on. Creo que se confundieron. No, no me no me no expliqué muy bien. Solo harán una oración. La oración es lo que está acá, sin el when, sin el if. La oración solo es una. Ya sea esta que está acá, de este lado, donde dicen, many people will be happy. Esa es una oración. Y la otra podría ser la que está acá, Argentina, win the World Cup. Sin el if y sin el... Eso sería una oración. No sería con, con ni, ni when ni con if. ¿Ok? Solo algo como, I am happy, I have problems, I am hungry, I work every day. Así, ¿ok? Yes. But I'm going to give you some. My dad cooks fish on the weekends. My nephew goes to school. Okay. My doctor is out of the country. Ok. Serían ejemplos como los que están ahí. Normales. Ejemplos sin, sin el if y sin, y sin when. Ok. Así sería. I'm going to give you one more minute. O solo borren una, lo que tengan ahí la parte. Así que can do. Ok. Joana, ready? I go to travel eh, to Europa. So I go to Europe or I travel to Europe. I travel. I travel. To Europe. To Europe. 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 I travel to Europe. Okay. Bernardo, hello. Hello, teacher. Your example, please. I swim. I go to swim every Sunday. I go to swim? Every Sunday. All right, all right. Emerson, come in the last. Sorry. I go, to, I go to swim every Sunday when, when I go to the Europe. When I go to U Europe. Europe. Wow, how people incredible. Yes. All right. Repeat it, please. I'm going to write it down. <laughs> I, you, you forgot, right? You forgot? <laughs> All right, no problem, no problem. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. He said, I go swimming, I think, or I swim, right? I swim every Sunday when I go or travel. I go to Europe. Okay. Good example, good example. Okay. Xiomara, hi. Hi. Okay, mention your example. I had a big house. Wow, I have a big house. Okay, Javier, can you give me your example? I go to, I want to sleep. Is it going to be difficult? Huh? I want to sleep. Okay, let me see. Bernardo, yes, of course, Bernardo. You. <laughs> Put it together, please. Combine them. I want to sleep when I go to my big house. Okay, you modified that a little bit, right? But that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's okay. Un poquito modificado, but that's, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> it's, it's kind of difficult to do that. All right. Carla, mention your example, please. Carla. 
I would like to know Germany. German, German. German. Oh. Saber el idioma o el país. No, el país. Ah, entonces sería visitar. Quisiera conocer el país. Visitar, visitar. Ese conocer, el, ese no. I el... visit. I visit to Germany. I visit Germany. Okay. I visit right. Germany. I visit Germany. Uh, Eduardo, can you mention your example? Sí. <clears throat> I go to the kitchen. I go to the kitchen. I go. <laughs> I go to the kitchen. All right, all right. We there's no no way to combine this, but let's see. Que se que que ahí que se quiero la mente. Joana, Joana. Please. <laughs> Join the sentences, please. Conectelas con when o con if. Teacher, sorry. I have a, a problem giving my word. <laughs> no 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 escuché. Repeat, please. <laughs> I teach. <laughs> okay. Yo, <laughs> okay. Ah, no, pero la que dijo primero. And I, I visit Germany. I go to the kitchen. <laughs> I go to the kitchen when visit. I visit Germany. I visit Germany. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Very good, very good. No puede ser al revés, okay? Okay. I, I go to Germany when I visit my kitchen. <laughs> no, no, no puedo ser. That's, it's, it's weird. Okay, excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. Good example, okay. good example. Uh, let me see. Down here, Carlos, Ernesto, can you give me your example? Okay. I go to the gym in the mornings. Okay, I go to the gyms in the morning. Karen? Ah, uh, yes. I need a car in my life. I need? A car in my life. I need a car in my life. Or me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I have a car, but it's not working. No, see that person. Okay, let's see. We're gonna give uh, Luis the chance to combine the sentences. Okay, uh, repeat, please, again. Yes, yes, of course. Carlos, repeat, please. I go to the gym in the morning. Okay. A second. The second one. Hello? Got it? I need a car in my life. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Es imposible. Ya, ya, se puede, se puede. Y es. I go. Car and gym is for me uh, is not combinate. <laughs> yes, yes. Room. It, is, it is possible. Si se puede. Uh, it is possible. <laughs> You're thinking and thinking, right? Trying to combine them. I need, I need a car in my life for mm. by, go, by go to gym in the morning. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's okay, it's okay. I think I can. Bueno, that's the way I did it. Okay, if I go, if I go to the gym every morning, I need a car. Okay, sin ponerle my life. In my life, sorry. Okay. <laughs> but it's, it's what you said, Luis. Hello, can you All right, it's the same. Thank you, thank you for sharing. Let's continue sharing the same examples. Uh, let me see. Gerardo, share yours, please, and Oscar. Gerardo, 
Hello, where are you? Lo siento, dicho, no, 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 no estoy disponible ahorita. Okay, okay, sorry. It's fine, it's fine. Oscar, what about you? Yes, teacher. Okay, give me your example. I have a lot of money. I have a lot of money. Wow. I have a lot of money. Okay. Carol? My your example, boss. please. My boss is very kind. My boss is very kind. Okay, Carla, una last. My boss, my boss is a, no, I understand a Finnish oration. Repeat, Oscar, y luego que repita, Carlos. Okay. Yes, don't worry, be happy. I have a lot of money. Okay, mm -hmm. I have a lot of money. All right. And Carol? My boss is very kind. Okay. My boss is very kind. Kind, I'm Kind, kind. Yes. <laughs> If my boss is very kind, I have a lot of money. Okay. Un poquito extraño. That's okay, that's okay. All right, all right. Yes, that's how it is. That's how it is. Now, I'm going to give you one sentence and then you finish it. Okay? This is uh, un poco más sencillo, sí. Okay, I give you the sentence and you finish it. All right? Yes? Okay. Let's start with Eduardo. Eduardo? Yo le iba, yo le iba a decir una de una canción. Okay, go ahead, no problem. Compártela. Okay. La canción va, va más o menos así con los mismos ejemplos que tenemos ahorita. Yes. When I need you, when I need you, I just close my eyes and I wish you. When I need you, I just close my eyes and and I wish you. And I'm and with, I with you. you. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> that is so sweet. All right, all right. That's perfect. Thank you for thank you for the example. Very good, very good. Okay, let me do this. Uh, let me start. Jose Bernardo. Hello, teacher. Okay. Something, something very easy. Okay. I skip work. When I'm tired. Okay. When I'm tired. People can say que skip. ¿Cómo sería skip en español? Es saltar, pero de trabajo no sería saltar. Sí. <laughs> Okay, ahí lo puse en el chat. Okay, skip. All right, all right, excellent. When I'm tired, he said. Very good, very good conclusion. Emerson, you. Okay. I buy a soda. Sorry? I buy a soda. I buy the soda. If I have a six. Set. If I am, if I am, if I am thirsty, have, thirsty. So if I am thirsty, if I am thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. thirsty. Este, dijo, I have thirsty. People, okay. hay unos adjetivos como el, el adjetivo este que usted mencionó, que es sediento y también comer. Es hungry. Bueno, hambre está más bien. No se usan con have, ¿ok? En español sí, podemos decir tengo hambre. Pero en inglés sería I am hungry, ¿ok? Igual con el, el cansado, perdón, el sediento. No sería tengo sed, como I have thirst. Sería I am, excuse me, I am thirsty. ¿Ok? Yes. Así como la edad. I am 30 years old. Okay. Thank you, Ulises, for your example. Carlos Ernesto, hello. Yes, teacher. I drink coffee. Um, 
if I feel if I feel sleep sleepy, sleepy. Repeat, please. If I feel asleep. Otra igual, miren, es sleepy. Sleepy es soñoliento, ok. Sleepy. Pero acá dice, I am sleepy es cuando tengo sueño. Cuando tengo sueño. Oh, ok. okay. If, I, if I am sleepy. Repeat it, please. I drink coffee if I am sleepy. Ok, thank you, thank you. Carol, are you there? I call my mother. If you, uh, if you need money. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I call my mother if you need money. <laughs> if I need money, actually. So, yeah. If I know you. Hey, bad person. Para decirle cómo está, no para pedirle pisto. <laughs> It's a, it's a joke, okay, Roma. Relax, relax. Thank you, Carol, for the example. Let me continue here. This is the last one, okay? The last one is, let me see. No, eh? Hello? Hi. Okay, with you, 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 only you, okay? I buy. I go to the beach. When I, when I have money. Okay, when I have money, when I have money. All right, people, we have finished. It is time to go to sleep. <laughs> okay, uh, do you have any questions? Alguna okay. pregunta que tenga? No, teacher. No, we're good? Okay. Very good. Let me take attendance. Oh, este para el día de mañana tiene que estar completa la plataforma, ¿ok? Desde la sección 1 hasta la número 4. Y también agregándole el midterm, que es el examen de medio mes, y el final exam, que es el último examen que se hace, ¿ok? Yes. Serían las cuatro secciones, la 1, 2, 3 y la 4, y ambos exámenes, ¿ok? El de medio mes y el último en caso no, han, no lo han completado todo, ¿ok? Mínimo 80% en todo, en parejito todo, ¿ok? O si no, al 100, ¿verdad? Right? Al 100 todo o al 80, mínimo. Si hay menos de 80% en lo global, uh, probablemente tengan problemas para el siguiente módulo. Bueno, inscribirse en el siguiente módulo, ¿ok? Recuerden que ese es un requisito. Son tres requisitos para, para el siguiente módulo, ¿ok? Asistencia, ¿ok? Plataforma y la encuesta que haremos el día de mañana. Ok, yes. Esas tres cosas serían. Ok. Yes. Ok, so people, remember, work on the platform. Y después, si hay preguntas de la plataforma, solo envíen la imagen al grupo o la captura al grupo para poder responder. Ok, o privado o como usted guste. Ok. Yes, no problem. Ok. I'm going to take attendance, people, y luego nos retiramos. Let me do this. Déjeme checar esta cosa. It's getting late. Wait, que no me cargue esta cosa. It's ready. Okay. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Present teacher. Okay. Hello, hello. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Díaz. Uh, Cecilia Yasmin Mejibar Soto. Present teacher. Hi. Uh, let me continue with Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Alvarez.
No, okay. Emerson Ulises Monroy, no, sorry. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Excuse me. Listen, teacher, good night. Okay, good night, Eduardo, take care. See you tomorrow. Uh, Emerson Ulises Monroy, Calix. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Francisco Sánchez López. Hello, hello. Xiomara, Imelda Xiomara Pumera Castro. I am here, teacher. Hi, yes. Good night. Good night. Uh, Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. Oh, Alexander Jose, uh, Jose Alexander Hernandez Carvajal. No, right, he was not here today. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante, Escalante Ríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Here. Good night, everyone. Neftali Humberto Ramirez Ramos, no, right? He wasn't here today. Okay. Oscar Noé Magaña Martinez. Good night. No, no. No. <laughs> Sara Abigail, hello. Sara Abigail López Portillo. Present teacher. Teacher Bradley Rodríguez, present. Okay, yes, yes. Hi. Uh, Sara Abigail López Portillo, sorry. I'm here, teacher. Yes. Tatiana Yvonne Torres de Beltrán. Jansi Kelita Olivares. Present, teacher. Hello. Carla Eugenia Hernández. Present, teacher. Carlos Ernesto Guerra. Present, teacher. En Karen Janet Granados Orellana. Present. Okay, everybody. Put your card in it. <laughs> All right. People, thank you so much for being here. Okay, it's a pleasure to see you. And I will see you tomorrow, people. Última vez. Y luego nunca más. Teacher. Teacher, <laughs> tomorrow is the... Party, party, yes. Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, dice, mire. La fiesta es mañana, sí, sí. No, ayer, eso que usted no ayer fue. El, el cierre, creo, no sé. No, no, no voy a esas cosas. <laughs> Yes. See you tomorrow. Take care. Que Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. People, thank you. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, Tatiana. Casey, are you there? Casey, do you hear me? Me escucha, Casey? Okay. She's there. Hi everyone, I'm going to continue here with the practice. Okay, we're going to do some, something similar to the activity that we were doing before. Okay, I'm going to write some examples here and you have to complete them using when or if. Okay, of course, the class as well. Example, Rose waters the plants, ellipsis. Now you have to complete it, okay? La completa, yes. We'll make this smaller. Okay. All right. Rose waters, waters the plants, okay? When or if. 
Another example is Monica. Monica takes the exams, the ellipses. All right, another example would be Francisco goes to the, the movies, ellipses, you complete it. We can say Diana gives money to charity when or if, okay, you decide. And one more, one more example. We can say the teacher, okay, Mauricio, the teacher tries to eat pizza ellipses okay over here we got five examples five examples full sentences okay lo que acá son uh, ejemplos completos okay que pueden funcionar así sin sin agregar nada más funcionan okay rose water the plants quiere decir rosa riega las plantas okay luego el when y el if agregan información extra, ok, o más, más, más explicada, ok. So, when she's home, excuse me. Un ejemplo podría ser, Rosa, this is Rose, water the plants when she's home, ok. Dice, Rosa riega las plantas cuando está en su casa, o cuando está en la casa, ok. Y así vamos a seguir con lo mismo acá abajo, ok. Ya sea when o if. Okay, that's what it is. All right, people, remember, you have to continue practicing every single day, every second, every hour, and every day, and every month, and every year, you have to keep practicing because practice makes perfection. People, I will see you tomorrow. Take care, all right? Bye-bye.